welcome everyone we are talking about worship and we are trying to understand what worship is we know that it's our response to who god is and our response is one of um bowing down before him honoring him loving him because uh, he is so wonderful today i want us to look at this incident in mark chapter 14 from verses 3 uh to 9 uh, and that passage talks about Mary of Bethany Mary of Bethany who at the house of Simon the leper you know Jesus was there and this woman she took an alabaster flask uh which had a very costly oil of spikenard and you know we we read the rest of that uh, incident there that she uh, broke the flask poured it on his head uh, and then you know there was a certain response from the people around her so this passage you know what does it teach us about worship so this is mary's worship you know she recognizes that jesus uh, is is god she recognizes that he is lord and she finds the best way uh, she knows to express her honor for jesus uh, and we see that she brings the spikenard and from what we learn a uh, spikenard uh, in those times it was more like an uh, heirloom in in families it was even passed on from generation to generation uh, because it was so expensive uh, there were families where mothers used to hand it over to their to their daughters because it it was like an investment which would uh, help people during their difficult uh, financial times and, and so think about mary she is bringing this very very expensive oil uh, in the alabaster jar and she does not hesitate to break that jar and it says she pours that oil on jesus so uh, it's a picture of worship it's a picture of sacrificial worship it's a picture of extravagant worship where she doesn't know what else um, can be you know what else is good enough for jesus and in those times um, you know spikenard was used to anoint people and guests but only a dab of the oil because it was so expensive uh, but mary does something here she pours it on jesus uh, in a way it was like anointing of kings that oil was poured on their head uh, and mary does that because she recognizes the worth of jesus as a king and when she worships no there are a couple of other things that we can see here it was very quiet she did not try to uh, um, to um, make make a noise about it or uh, she did not want people to see it and applaud her it was a very personal act of worship very uh, quiet and and she just wanted to anoint him and nothing more than that to express her worship so uh, it shows us you know how worship our worship can be personal how it can uh, recognize the the worth and value of our god and uh, you know how it can be so precious but we also notice that when mary worship in this way there was criticism you know there were uh, people around her particularly judas who criticized her about how she had wasted uh, expensive oil but you know he had his own vested interest uh, in that his own um uh, selfish motives but here was mary you know none of that bothered her uh, it was her personal worship and she it says poured it out and that's how when we know the worth of who our god is we we begin to pour out our worship no matter who says what because he is so worthy let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful picture uh father god of pouring uh, the the nard on on your head a uh, father help us that uh, when we worship god that it will be uh, it will be true it will be personal it will be extravagant father because you are worthy of it all in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.